Greg Alexander here um, to share with you really some ways to think about um, working with people um, with jaw problems and intraorally. And the first question people have is like, why would I want to stick my fingers in someone's mouth? Or why would I want someone to stick their fingers in my mouth? Um, and uh, yeah, that's a, that's a really good concern because really, many, much of the masticatory muscles can be reached through the person's skin. You know, you can get the chipmunk cheek muscle here, the masseter, and the temporalis uh, easily. You can even get a little bit of the medial pterygoid in here. Um, but the reason that usually you want to go further, if you, if you have issues with these muscles, if you work inside someone's cheek or inside their mouth, it's a much more direct contact. And these muscles are richly innervated. So if you touch them inside someone's cheek, you've really got their attention. Um, and why would you want to you know, touch those muscles anyways? Um, it's common for uh, the masticatory muscles to refer pain uh, to the teeth. So you could have um, sensitivity to hot or cold, sensitivity to pressure. Um, it could be that the person was, uh, I don't know, one of those like outward bound trips or something. I don't know what Americans do for outward bound, but it goes two weeks in the wilderness and so on. And you have a tooth problem at the beginning, and you don't go to the dentist, and you come back, so your tooth's been sore for two weeks. You can have dental um, therapy, but then um, the tooth is great, but you still have this sensitivity to hot and cold, and it's still sore to pressure. Well, that's because you've had this pain long enough that you've activated myofascial trigger points that tend to perpetuate that uh, pain. So you need to treat them in that case. Um, you often have... Um, chronic tension around the jaw that's associated with neck and shoulder tension. So if you've got someone recovering from a whiplash, say, and you're getting so far with their neck and it still seems to, seems to be recalcitrant coming back, then you might need to treat the jaw. Another reason people have chronic uh, tension around their jaws is called parafunction. They're using their jaw to chew, but really there's, there's no food involved. Like, we need to chew just for the meal, but if you chew gum all day long or for all basketball games for all time, um, or you're chewing your hair, your fingers, your pencils and pens and so on, uh, people will chew, people will grind their teeth at night. Uh, night grinding is really rough because you can only bite your teeth so hard when you're awake because you have these, you have natural patterns of inhibition that offload your, you can't, you can only bite so hard. But when you're asleep, you don't have that inhibitory um, reflex. So people, when they grind their teeth at night, you can actually hear their teeth grinding and sometimes they even shatter. People like wear their teeth down. Um, so those are good reasons to, um, to try to figure out a way to dismantle the uh, chronic tension in the jaw. To say, just stop, stop chewing gum. Stop grinding your teeth, relax. It doesn't work. People need to have the experience in their flesh of relaxation. And intraoral massage helps people with that. Um, the other time you think about it, I guess, is people just saying, I feel a lot of tension there. I can feel pain in the joint. Um, people are clicking and popping and so on. Um, often have a lot of myofascial tension associated with it. So those are good reasons that you'd want to work inside someone's mouth. Mm -hmm.